Hi, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today we are going to make one more review about another Parker pen. Yes, uh, I am almost a Parker collector and I have a lot of Parker pens. So let's just see inside. We have this box which has the old logo in it uh, from the 2000s. Um, this is the cardboard box, you take this out, you push this flap down and you have the box of the pen. This box has engraved the pattern that is also engraved on the nib of this pen. This is a Parker Dufold and uh, in this, uh, from this time, around 2005, the Parker Dufold range started to have the Ace of Spades uh, logo as the, the logo of the model. So it is engraved on the top of the cap and also on the nib. When you open the box, here you have the pen and beneath you have a booklet and you would have a converter here that is inside the pen and also a box of quink cartridges. So let's see the pen, not the box, that's what we are here for. So the pen, as you can see, uh, this pen has a very nice look. Uh, in my opinion, it is very, very nice. It is one of the nicest designs. I already made um, a review of another pen from this collection. This was made from 2005, near that, that, that time. And I also have um, a yellow one, which is the citrine. This is the olive green, the olive check uh, pen. Uh, it has the regular little fold shape. It has two cap rings, the um, arrow clip on the top of the cap. You have the Ace of Spades symbol and underneath the word default. And then you have, uh, you have a black top of the cap, a black end of the barrel with a silver colored uh, band. This is all the old dream is silver colored. And there is something unusual in this pen is this one, this particular one has no engraving here uh, about the, the date code. I'll have here some others to, to, compare, to compare. And you can see in these pens there is I don't know if I can show you. There is an engraving, a date code there, and also on this one. Uh, this one has not. Uh, I don't know why. So uh, about the the materials, the materials of this pen, as this one or this one or even this, they are they are all made of resin, the so-called precious resin. The these, these are all plain colored resins. These ones, these ones are made from a different process. Uh, they make um, big sheets of um, resin or acrylic with these different colors. They cut it in, in little squares and then they are bonded together and the pen is turned to make this stunning uh, finish. This color pattern uh, meant to remind us of the early celluloids like the vacuumatic, where several layers of different shades of material were put um, upside the other one. So let's 
continue to see this pen, that's what we are reviewing today. So, uh, the cap has the other two folds, the cap and screws, and we have here the section and the big nib. The section has this very nice shape, uh, which I find very comfortable to hold. It is also quite wide, so it is easy to, to, to hold. The pen has some weight to it, because it has some heavy material, nicely done, and it also has a cartridge, because of the metal pieces it gets a little heavier. The threads are not sharp at all, so if you don't like to hold your pen here, you may want to hold the pen higher and the threads won't bother you at all during writing. The nib is a bicolor nib. It says there do fold Parker 18 karat gold or 750, uh, which is con the gold content. It is a bicolor nib. Uh, mostly uh, with just uh, two um, pieces of uh, natural gold color. The feed is a very uh, simple feed and it says there F from F nib. The barrel unscrews and you have this metal thread and here you have the converter, a Parker converter. This pen only takes proprietary Parker converters or cartridges. Uh, something I have to notice about this pen is the this ring near the nib that has some plating gloss there. I'll try to focus this to show you. I don't know if this was some particular ring I used because I, don't, I didn't have this problem in some other defaults. I had this in one more default and you can see here in this face the, the the plating has been lost maybe uh, because of the of the ink when you you dip the nib in ink just to to fill it with the converter maybe it was that problem this pen is large enough to write it write with it and post it if you want you can post it beca but because it doesn't post very deeply. The pen gets, in my opinion, too long and too top heavy because of the weight of the cap. But it is just fine to write like this and this is my favorite way of writing, holding the cap in my left hand and writing with the right hand. So uh, this is what the pen has to show and let's do the writing sample. Let's see. The paper is the usual Rhodia dot pad. The pen is the Parker Centennial Dual Fold Olive Check because of these olive green squares and the nib is an F nib and the ink is Mont Blanc Racing Green which is a discontinued pen um, ink, sorry but I have quite a stock and it is beautiful to write with this pen so about this, the pen has an F nib that is a, a, a wide F, not an M, but it is a wide F. It puts a very good amount of ink on the paper, as you can see, and you ca we can say this is a wet writer. You can feel, you can definitely feel some feedback on the nib of this pen when you write, but it is not unpleasant and it is very typical of Parker pens. So no problem to write with it, uh, but you just feel it. This is a very comfortable pen for large sessions of writing because it's really, uh, it's, 
a big pen and it writes very well smoothly you have feedback you can hear it and it almost never skips unless you rotate the new on the paper very good pen you usually with parker pens you can write with the nib upside down to have an extra fine line in this case because a nib is a fine nib and this is really a great pen about flex or line variation it's not a flex pen you can have some line variation but you have to press really hard and you may damage the nib so think of this as a stiff nib but a very well tuned one with a pleasant feedback this is a really nice pen in my opinion so just to wrap this up thank you all for watching this video if you liked it please uh, hit the thumbs up button and subscribe our youtube channel for more videos see you next time bye